So you have four co-founders, and I'm just curious about how do you guys work with each other and uh, create like a co-founder relationship that uh, really contribute to the success of the company. Our our history of being successfully sticking together and growing is based on our history prior to what we've done today, prior to those last eight years. So we've been able to work through a lot of the sort of challenges of how do we manage ourselves, how do we make decisions. The second part of it is we've learned to be very hierarchical. I said to you before that Chris and Andrew have the hardest job in Go One as our co-CEOs. So as a result of that, we have an, an immense amount of respect for the decisions that they need to make. So when we're sitting down as a group, and if I say it's black and Andrew and Chris say it's white, I will tell Chris and Andrew why I think it's black. But when I leave that room, I'm going out to the whole company and I'm telling them it is white because my job is to be there to support them. I will give them my counsel, but I'm there to support them. And that's how we all approach our problems because we, if we aren't united in how we make decisions, if we aren't clear on how we make decisions, then we slow down. And as a startup, speed is your biggest weapon. I mean, co-founders relationship is not always easy. We have a rule that we are friends first and founders second. We spend a lot of time, especially in the last few years, working on our relationship and our time outside of Go One. Um, we catch up three times a week. We have breakfast. We go to the gym. We hang out together. Mm -hmm. Chris Eglund literally lives around the corner from me, right? I've helped him install a washing machine into his house recently. Um, Chris Hood, we go over to Chris's house, you know, once every few months and we sit there and we play poker between the four of us so that Chris Hood can take all of our money, right? Mm -hmm. So between the four of us, we spend a lot of time trying to make sure that we build a strong relationship out of the boardroom, out of the meeting room, so that when we're in the meeting room, when we're having to perform, We've got that cohesion.